Alright, YouTube, this is your boy Alkali from Maybe on Gaming, and this is live currently on my Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash Alkalizzle. And uh, right now you're seeing a full screen view of me freaking um, on your screen. So, wow, I'm in your face, and I'm rocking my Maybe on Gaming hat thanks to my boy Luke, my little bro. Um, he had this custom, uh, custom made for me, and I appreciate all the love he's given. And uh, yeah, on that note, today you guys are going to get a live uh, run of how to get cams. Um, I'm not going to try to get a cam right now. I'm just going to show you, like, on a private match, like a map or so, um, like, how to get cams, really, really. Like, what you need to do in order to get them. Because in this game, it's really tough to kill people. So, on that note, um, or I shouldn't say it's not really tough. It's actually really easy to kill people. So, that makes it even more tough to get, like, nuclears and stuff. So, um, on that note, I'm going to switch to my uh, class setup and everything so you guys can see that. So, give me a second. Bang! Like that little wavy shit. But, um, my classes in particular, um, for my 7th first G's I'm running right now, or 8th, or 7th, yeah. Um, I'm running this, um, Honey Badger, uh, with extended mags and a foregrip. Find that really helpful. And my perks are Sleight of Hand, Dead Silence, Amplify, Resilience, Focus, and Blast Shield. I recently put Blast Shield on because I got tired of freaking kids lately because of clan wars and domination um freaking just destroying me with freaking explosives especially on whiteout that map if you get tryhards is ridiculous so um and uh, i put support streaks on this one that way just in case for those tryhard games so um don't mind that um but you can get a chem with that so it's best to either run support or specialist uh, i find support really helpful getting chems lately so I run the uh, UAV or SATCOM, or whatever you call it, Ballistic Vest, and the Oracle. Oracle is really helpful, so uh, I would suggest putting that on. My SC class has specialists on it. I have a red dot silencer on my SC, and um, it has the same uh, perks as the Hunter Badger class that I have. And uh, for my specialists, I'm running off the grid first, quick draw, and then stalker. I just recently put Stalker on there because I find it helpful for this weapon in particular because um, it gets outshot for me at least by a lot of weapons like especially the Remington. That is the weapon I come across a lot which kills me. The Remington and the MSBS so I find Stalker once I get it helpful to outshoot them. But um, Stalker comes in handy. I, I tried it out again and I'm liking it so I just kept it for this weapon in particular. And for my bonus kills or bonus perks that I get I have a uh, What's that called? I don't even remember. It is... Takedown. Where uh, you kill enemies without revealing their death location. I found that pretty helpful because I hate when the enemy is like some guy that I just killed and his friend is just happens to be around the area and he just sees his friend's ex and he's like, Oh, there's a guy right there. And bang, and I get killed on my camera. So I found that helpful. Uh, I have Blind Eye on, Hancock and scavenger for my bonus perks uh that way i can stay off more off the map you know it's no but it's <laughs> i love just being off the map you know trying to get cams and shit so that is that is really helpful you don't get detected by oracles you don't get detected by uh freaking thermals or anything and bang you got your scavenger for extra ammo um remington class has the same setup except for a little minor tweaks uh instead of blast shield um, I have ping. Ping is really awesome. I used to have it on my Honey Badger and my SC class, and uh, I took it off. And uh, also, I used to run the AK-12. I just re re like yesterday put the Remington on because I wanted to try it out again. But my run normally my best guns are Honey Badger, AK-12, and the SC. But yeah, uh, Remington's pretty good though. Um, but uh, I'm running a different perk to Blast Shield. I'm running ping. Ping is really awesome to use. It's really helpful. I love it. So I suggest. To either have ping on, blast shield, or tactical resist on your initial perks, at least. Ping is really useful. Um, and for my uh, specialist, it's pretty explain uh, pretty obvious what I'm running. Uh, it's for my 11th uh, specialist perk, it's uh, or uh, it's tactical resist. So, um, tactical resist comes in handy because you know kids like to throw flashes and stuns and stuff like that. So. Um, as I go down here, these are kind of my uh, defending and uh, offensive kind of guns, I guess, for tryhard games. 
I got the MTAR, you know, everyone's starting to use that now with the flash models or, or flash suppressor and uh, extended mags. I'm, I don't, I have a firm freaking irritation for loud weapons. Like, I can't stand loud weapons, but MTAR is definitely better without a suppressor on it. And I like the weapon. Um, and for my lethal and tactical, I got C4 and tactical. Uh, tactical concussion grenade. For my perks, um, it's slight of hand, death silence, amplify, resilience, and focus. You always need focus, and I find resilience really helpful as well. Um, I hate like in situations where you jump off something, and just because you know you're getting shot at, but you're already weak and you die. So resilience comes in handy for that, and of course amplify, amplify is a must, and um, dead silence and slight of hand definitely help out a lot. And for my perks, it's a support streak to help out my teammates. It's SATCOM Ballista Best Ground Jammer. I like to spice it up the last uh, per, uh, kill streak that I have, or support streak. I like to spice it up. It's either Oracle or Ground Jammer. I like just, you know, I'm fine. Um, ground Jammer is really useful for other t uh, teams freaking getting Oracles and stuff like that. So um, I'm not sure actually if Ground Jammer stops that. Um, I'm not really sure. That would be awesome if it did, but don't quote me on that. I haven't figure that out yeah so um yeah um i have a vepper class which is red dot four grip c4 concussion vepper is a really good weapon do not put a silence on this one i i don't like this weapon with a silence it takes a lot more bullets up close to kill someone so don't use that um but you might have better luck so you can put a suppressor on if you want but i don't like the vepper with a silencer so um it basically has the same perks um as the uh, M Tower class I have, and for my support streaks, it's SATCOM, Ammo Crate, Ground Jammer, and then I have my Cyber class, which is a USR silencer with a thermal, and it's running assault streaks. You know, uh, just it's kind of like a muff around class when I'm muff around and searching to destroy or something, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. I got SATCOM, Trinity Rocket, and the Battle Hind, um, and now to get you guys into the uh, chem tips. Alright, the map today uh, I'm going to show you guys is going to be Overlord. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah, it's going to be Overlord. And for those who want to get freaking um, chems on this map in particular, it's a pretty big map. I don't have a, too much of a problem. I think this is one of the best, like not a, one of the best maps, but I think this is one of the not so stressful maps in the game compared to all the crap maps they have in this game this is not so like that shitty it's pretty in between of shitty and all right it's, i'll give it an all right but um yeah so i'm gonna show you guys how to do that on this map here today is camel on overlord now depending on where you spawn um the main thing to keep in mind on overlord if it's domination um uh, domination, domination or blitz. There we go. Um, main thing is what you want to do is I uh, let's say well, let's, I'm gonna start off from ghost side for you guys. Um, honey badger better. Um, domination. So ghost side is always A side. Um, what you want to do is on ghost side you want to do. Uh, if this match begins, with could it, like be any faster. Capture What's the bad? Your teammates grab A. All right. Securing alpha. Now, in my opinion, um, I like the other team to have C on this map, but you can work it either way. You can either grab C and let them have A, or keep your A and let them have C. And off the bat, I run straight up here. Check up there, because there's always people up here. Always people up there. Off the bat, you want to pace shoot them. You don't want to try to freaking full auto. And I take this route down here and check sure, like make sure there's no one coming around here because you normally catch enemies coming out this way, trying to go up to B that way. So you can pick off some stragglers. And this, here, here's where I start getting on my little rotation, like my kill rotation. Um, my friend, uh, my brother Matt showed me this, Mephi. Uh, normally if you sit around here, you'll catch a couple people spawning under here if they just recently died. You want to also check your back occasionally, but if they don't spawn there right away, go down here, and you can. They'll eventually start spawning in there. And you can, you know, sound horn them and pick them off. And then I normally run a route down here. You know, I always check in here just in case someone's in there just chilling. And then I run all the way down here, and I look up here because they always get to spawn. If you're over here, 
generally they're going to be getting this spawn here. Your teammates should be in B by this time. So as long as your teammates aren't like fully press pressing on C, they should spawn here when you're running this route off the beginning. So you should be able to kick, pick off a couple kills there. And I normally take this route. I either choose a route to go here or up the stairs to look at this. Look at it again if they don't spawn there right away when I'm coming down from the front of C. And I uh, pick a couple guys there. I normally chill here sometimes and just sound horn, wait for them to come in to B because, you know, kids want to try to grab B. It's, it's like the main thing in their head to do. And uh, I pick off a couple people. And I just kind of run this route, generally. I just run this route after staying B a couple minutes and then uh, pick off a couple guys coming out of there. I go back here, catch anybody spawning on their flag in the back, see if there's anyone at their sniper lookout. And then I just come, keep running this route here back and forth and I check down here because they sometimes get to spawn over here and uh, let's kind of run this and then if, if you're not catching anyone over here be, uh, just cautiously run back to your previous route your initial route and just backtrack that way they give them a spawn because they should most likely are trying to push A or they're getting an A spawn and uh, you just pick off a couple guys there now if your team has C on the other hand Let's make a trip all the way back to A. Let's say they're getting A and your teammates just grab C. The route for A is that I run. Is I mm, I try to be discreet. I normally when I, I'm normally running that side uh, area over there near C to A. Um, that one over there. I normally run that route if the flags or the spawns flip. So I normally come down this route down here, all the way back through here. And I normally just kind of trap the other team in their spawn in here. Because if you stay back here, you can catch a couple guys staying spawning in there. And I normally, once it's closed or like clear, I run in here and just run their freaking computer room. You know, you can sound horror them a lot. You can hear them just running about. They start spawning in here, up over there, and the back of A. And you just basically just keep sound horror. If they're spawning A, you just keep running this building changing your location up after a couple kills and just picking them off as they run ain't like cluelessly through their freaking base trying to find you you just keep picking them off you know and that's basically how you get a cam on overlord generally it's just running a road like a kill rotation making sure you don't you know put overextend for kills like if you can't kill someone don't just run out there like oh crap i should have killed him you know try to keep your try to keep yourself off the map as possible try to be the flanky kid Try to stay behind the enemy. You don't want to do too many 1v1 battles. Especially in this game. You will get frustrated. So the main thing is to catch the enemy off guard mainly. So make sure all your movements is discreet. You're not making too many dumb pushes. So that's generally how I run A and how I run C. I normally run the same routes over and over again. Like Mainly when I'm playing with my squad, we have A and B. And I normally just run this route that I showed you guys earlier, which is all the way over there, come down the, from the back, spawn kill them inside the under the sniper lookout, run down here, catch them up here, go inside B, hold B with my teammates, and uh, just run out here and then hold down this freaking narrow street to see. Um, that's generally it. So uh, that's how you generally get um, chems on Overlord. It's just being mindful of where you're running. It don't always, don't take the most congested routes. Take the more, un, less obvious routes. And these routes that I showed you guys are generally less obvious. Most kids will not know where you are or how to kill you generally. If they kill you, it's it's probably luck. To be honest, it, this game has some retarded spawns. So there's several times where my streak got ended because of ret retarded spawns. So, um. I hope you guys found these tips helpful, and if you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. It's your boy Alkali from Avion Gaming, and you just got a tip on how to get a Camel Overlord, and I'm out.